In your nativity set at home, you probably have about three figures representing the wise men. These characters are no doubt holding three gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Now these aren't your typical baby shower gifts, are they? But when these three items are listed together, it's a reference that points us to Exodus 30. In this chapter, God's giving Moses instructions on how the high priest is to prepare himself to meet with God in the Holy of Holies. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh are materials needed for this ritual. See, myrrh was used to create a holy anointing oil. This oil would purify the priest. It was a very specific recipe, and it was set aside only for priests preparing to enter the Holy of Holies. And frankincense was used to create a holy incense. This powder would be placed in front of the Ark of the Covenant where verse 36 says, God would meet them there. And this is where the gold comes in. See, the Ark of the Covenant was overlaid with gold. The structure itself was made of wood, which represents Jesus being born in an earthly body. But the gold represented his divinity and holiness. This is a picture of Jesus being both God and man. Now, once the ceremony was completed and accepted, the high priest could enter into the Holy of Holies and experience the presence of God. So these gifts weren't just lavish, expensive items. They were materials a high priest would need to enter into the presence of God. The wise men knowingly or unknowingly were showing us that Jesus is our high priest and he is the only way for us to experience the presence of God. The book of Hebrews explains this symbolism. Listen to chapter eight, verse six. But now Jesus, our high priest, has been given a ministry that is far superior to the old priesthood. For he is the one who mediates for us a far better covenant with God based on better promises.